Is irregular ovulation the only way that polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS impacts your fertility? The answer is no. I am Dr. Jessica Rannick, a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinology and infertility specialist, and I'm going to talk about the other ways that PCOS can impact your fertility in this video. PCOS is a common cause of androgen excess, menstrual irregularities, and metabolic dysfunction in those of us that have ovaries, and it can manifest in a number of different ways, including menstrual irregularities or irregular ovulation, which can lead to anovulatory infertility, um, hirsutism and acne, metabolic changes such as insulin resistance, obesity, high cholesterol levels, among other things. While not ovulating or having irregular ovulations, which leads to irregular cycles, is a rather obvious way that PCOS can lead to infertility. If there's no egg, can't meet the sperm, can't lead to a pregnancy. Even people who have regular cycles with PCOS or those who are able to induce ovulation with PCOS may still have additional issues getting pregnant. There can be egg quality concerns due to elevated testosterone or other androgens, elevated insulin and insulin resistance, hypersecretion of LH compared with FSH, um, and a different timeline for development of the egg, and that can impact chances of conceiving. The metabolic abnormalities that can happen more commonly in those with PCOS can impact chances of conceiving. Those are things like diabetes, obesity, um, abnormal cholesterol levels, um, sleep apnea and interrupted sleep, um, and then there are other ways as well. PCOS can be highly associated with different mental health disorders, including depression and anxiety, and someone who is experiencing exacerbations of those symptoms are probably not going to be in the mood to be having intercourse, even if they are ovulating on their own. Unfortunately, the reproductive concerns for those with PCOS don't stop just at fertility. There's also a higher risk of miscarriage, gestational diabetes, and high blood pressure and preeclampsia of pregnancy. Unfortunately, people with PCOS may also have other fertility factors that lead to a difficult time getting pregnant, including male factor, tubal factor, or other endocrinopathies such as thyroid or prolactin. And this is why I think if someone has a known diagnosis of PCOS, they should probably seek out the help of a fertility doctor right away when they're starting their journey, even if they are ovulating on their own. This doesn't mean you have to do fertility treatment, but it's at least making sure that you can have the healthiest process trying to conceive and the healthiest pregnancy that you can have.